Good morning, my dear students. Good morning, everyone who joined me on my channel on reading course number one. It's a great time to have you on my uh, course here. And today we have lesson 23. It must be the final lesson today on our course. Uh, I I hope that you have benefited from my lectures. I hope that you, of course, fo uh, followed, uh, watched all my lectures. And if you have any questions, anything difficult for you, please let me know. Now, before we begin our lesson today, I have to give you two points, two pieces of advice. The first one is related to your health. Since we are suffering from Corona uh, virus disease, and since uh, many people have, of course, fallen ill, uh, seriously ill, and some have died, we have to be careful. We have to be, uh, why? I mean, I would keep our eyes wide open to be watchful. Uh, the first thing uh, to prevent this disease is by staying at home. The second thing is by keeping social distance. If you keep, uh, you, I mean, at home, stay at home, you can prevent most of the disease. And when you go out, uh, try not to mix with other people. Keep away. Observe social distance don't shake hands don't touch other people don't hug other people try to be as far as possible this is i mean very important so by staying at home and keeping social distance we can be quite secure we can be safe we can stay healthy happy and comfortable my second piece of advice to you today is you have to make the best use of your time time is precious time is invaluable of course you can't lose time and have it at the same time you have to uh, use your time wisely start right from the beginning and study your lessons do your exercises any difficult words can be locked you can lock them up in an english english dictionary try to use an english english dictionary this will benefit you this will of course give you the best benefit by using an english english dictionary all right and uh, regarding to your files your homework try to do your works in time uh, present it in a good file which can be opened a file which is of course tidy uh, orderly and uh, you can of course present it and that in, in time uh, another point you have to write your full name first name and last name on the top of your or file each page should contain should show show your full name this will help me uh, help me to grade you quite easily and quickly now let's move to uh, see and read the passage uh, we have here uh, number reading number eight the statistics the statistics relating to sh to the skyrocketing cost of treating the sick indicate show there is no easy cure for inflation in america why health costs rose 15 
1981. Whereas the inflation rate was only 8.9%, uh, the entire nation, the whole nation, spent approximately about nearly uh, 286 million on health care an average of 1020 or 225 pers person since 85 percent of all americans are covered by health insurance and get reimbursement of up to 75 percent there are no incentives for reducing costs medicare and uh, medica, medica aid programs for poor, the poor and the elderly paid about 73 billion in dollars in 1981 an increase of 30 billion dollars over the cost in 1976 between 1972 and 1982 hospital care cost quadrupled means four times increase to 118 billion dollars doctors services tripled three times to 54.8 billion dollars a nursing home cost a quadrupled four times to 24.2 billion dollars a day in a hospital cost $133 in 1975. In 1982, the price was $250. There are multiple causes for soaring medical costs. A new construction, particularly when special highly technical areas like uh, burn centers uh, are required has escalated as cause raised or risen in cost to keep a patient alive with modern uh, mechanisms like the kidney uh, dialysis machine cost an added nine million dollars a year nationwide the more highly technical uh, treatment becomes for example for heart uh, and other organ transplants the more impossible it becomes to halt to stop the inflationary rise of medical cost the cost of medical uh, services has risen or has a direct impact effect or influence on upon the cost of other things Americans purchase, yes, large companies provide health plans for their employees. And as the premiums rise to for those plans, the manufacturers must cover their expenses by increasing the sales price of their products. One automobile manufacturer, for example, estimates that the soaring cost of health insurance have added 350 dollars to the cost of a car health costs are not isolated but rather have had an increasingly appalling dangerous effect over the rate of inflation right now if you ask you about the topic or the main idea of this passage you will say that it's about inflation especially inflation in medical costs in health health costs and the health cost inflation is influencing other inflation of course there is 
the wages, the prices, and so on. Now we have uh, scanning here. We have scanned the message as quickly as possible to get the information required to fill in the blanks in the following sentences. Number one, here we have space of all Americans have health insurance, about 85%. Number two, the rate of inflation in 1981 was let's say 8.9 percent medical number three medical cost in, in uh, uh, 1981 rose by 15 percent number four the average uh, cost per person in the united states for medical cost was let's say 122 or so uh, it rose to 250. Uh, number five, medical cost in 1981 totaled. Yes, we have number one, about 200 and 287 uh, billion dollars. Medical plans pay up to uh, about 75 percent and reimbursement to participants. Uh, number five or seven, a day in the hospital in 1975 cost about 150 or so. A day in hospital cost in 1982 about 250. Number nine, nursing home care cost, yes, uh, quadrupled in, in, in 10 years. Number 10, Hospital care uh, accounted for here about 74 or so. Uh, physicians were paid around uh, 24 billion and so and billion dollars in 1982. All right. All right. Number three. Geraniums thrive if you transplant them in, from indoors to your garden in the hot weather. Transplant means A. Transfer B. Substitute C. Trade D. Dig Transplant means transfer. That's A. Number four. The refugees were obliged were compelled to halt at the border to have their papers verified. Number A, halt means hurry. B, disrobe. C, surrender. D, stop. And hold means stop. Number five, everything I read about course has the word skyrocketing in it. Skyrocketing means A. Flying in space B. Celestial C. Writing in the sky uh, D. Rapidly increasing Skyrocketing here is not literal It is figurative uh, It implies, implies what? Rapidly increasing Now uh, we have come to the end of this lecture. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any difficulties, I'll be very glad to help you. Send me your questions. Don't hesitate. And before we st uh, stop here now, we have to give you a little piece of advice. The piece of advice is that you should follow my lectures. You should follow the instructions. You should please send your files in time. Don't delay. Don't waste time. Don't stay or wait to the last minute. Try to be punctual. Try to be efficient. 
and tidy. Do your exercises, your files properly uh, and send them uh, so that they can be opened. And one final point is don't forget your names. Try to write your name on each file. Write your full name on the top of the file. Your first name and second name. Write them in capital, capital letters. And write them clearly um, and in a good position. They must be related. Uh, the second thing is uh, you have to read uh, more uh, on uh, more than the textbook. You can read uh, extra books, free reading. And whenever you have any difficulty or any difficult words, uh, try to use an English English dictionary. This will help you a lot. This will increase your vocabulary. And you can get more examples, more language, more exposure to English. Uh, so, as a result, you will be very good students, very good users of English. All right, now I have to thank you for joining me. Goodbye, and see you next lecture.